third edition of Let's, Let's Make a Build. This build is the, I'm sure you've seen it, the Explosive Blast Speed Farm build. This build is pretty much what every wizard's using to just speed farm T9 or T10 and, and get as many uh, death press or, or uh, upgrade your gear as possible. Oh, and look, the uh, servers are updating. Isn't that great? So let's do this fast. Uh, so, uh, baseline concept is with the Ring of Royal Grandeur, you want four piece Firebirds just to get that 3,000% weapon damage as fire per second after reaching 3,000% weapon damage per second. The enemy will burn until they die. So, you hit them, and if they die most of the time, it's not necessarily necessary for you to stop and hit them again. You can keep on moving. <clears throat> five piece Tarashas to get you to six piece. Um, which is, you know, I got head, chest, belt, offhand, amulet. We're going to use the Warzekian arm guards just so you can get the, every time you destroy a wreckable object, you gain a short burst of speed. It helps out with getting um, through the maps as quickly as possible. And I actually put a spin on this. I'm using Mage Fist because it kind of left a spot open for me. And even if I added either Tarashas or Firebirds, it didn't make any sense. It didn't help me at all to get another set piece. So, whatever. Uh, this adds fire skills. Um, I got crit hit damage, crit hit chance, and attack speed, and intelligence on it. So, it was pretty good. It's still not ancient, but whatever. Um, Wand of Woe is the best weapon for this. It makes your explosive blast hit three additional times, and you're going to be spamming it. Uh, focus and restraint is is key. Helps out a whole lot with damage. You know, headpiece we're gonna int vit crit, of course. I'm gonna get cooldown reduction on this one. I got reduced all resource costs. I just need a, a different roll on that, pretty much. Um, armor or uh, skill, you know, whatever would matter. Um, amulet, uh, you, like everything else, you're gonna want int crit hit damage, crit hit chance. I've got attack speed. And a socket. Um, weapon, fire damage, percent damage, int, vit, um, crit if you want to, or cooldown reduction, either way. Uh, offhand, uh, tall rosh's offhand, uh, I've got damage, int, vit, crit, hit chance, uh, critical hits, grant, four arcane power. I rolled that just because once you start spamming, uh, Explosive Blast, of course the Diamond Skin does help, you do still kind of get low on Arcane Power if you're not paying attention to what it does. Um, int, Vit, Armor, Movement Speed, um, Skill if you want to, try and you're, on all your gear you're going to try to get increases gold and health pickup by 2 yards, on as much gear as you can, that way it'll keep picking up gold. The, the baseline of this is you're going to use Boon of the Hoarder, rank 25 or up, and Every time you pick up gold, because it's going to drop gold like crazy, we've got a gold raft in the cube. It's going to make your toughness go up. I, I've got it above five or six billion, you know. So once you're running through their speed running and you've got all that gold picked up, you're not going to die. It's impossible. Of course, you're going to have to kill a few members at first. And uh, to get some gold, some toughness built up before you go into killing an elite. Uh, but once you do that, you know, you speed farm and run through it, it's easy. Um, you can also switch out Warzekian Arm Guards with uh, Nemesis Bracers, just because you're, you're going to hit Shrines and you're going to get more Elites. Um, we're going to move over to the cube because this is what kind of makes this build. Uh, you're going to need Ngeum in the weapon slot. Your skill cooldowns are reduced by 10 seconds for 15 seconds after killing an Elite Pack. So every Elite Pack you kill, you're going to be able to keep spamming your Explosive Blast to keep farming. So more Elites the better. And elites die super fast. I'm using Bane of the Powerful. You can. You can also switch it out with Pain Enhancer or, or uh, something else. Poison Gem. Either way. And then Bane of the Trapped, of course, just for the, the damage. Which you could probably put Bane of the Stricken over here if you'd like. But Bane of the Powerful, just because our, our um, intent is just going to be to kill elites mainly. Uh, like I said, gold wrap in the cube for the, the armor bonus from uh, all the gold you're going to be picking up. That's why it's a T10 and it's not a, a greater rift build because you have to have gold dropping at all times. Uh, Ring of the Royal Grandeur, of course, to get the set bonuses that you need. Um, 
Of course, we can go over to skills and show you that we use unelectrocuted lightning blast just because it pierces and it does proc your tall Rasha meteors a lot more than anything else on electric side. Diamond skin prism, you get that movement speed um, and a little bit of damage reduction. Our main skill is explosive blast chain reaction. You're going to spam it when you get the cooldowns going. You should probably spam it the whole time. Yeah, I'm going to say that. Teleport Calamity. Uh, Calamity just for we can proc Tarashes whenever uh, we don't have our cooldown reduction up. Um, Frost Nova, Frozen Mist because it's the only one that procs Tarashes. And Storm Armor Scramble just for extra lightning to proc Tarashes. And so you're going to run around and use your Tarasha meters to kill some stuff and get some toughness up until you get to an Elite. And then you kill Elite and then while you're running around spamming Explosive Blasts, Every so often, shoot an electrocute just so you can proc focus and restraint. Uh, I've got audacity in the queue because when you explosive blast is not a big range, you're going to be in in near them no matter what. Uh, evocation for the reduced cooldowns, elemental exposure, and illusionist uh, just to reduce the cooldowns on teleport. And you could probably put something else here because your cooldowns are going to be reduced anyway. I probably could, could think of something else. Um, Maybe conflagration just to get more uh, crit from it, but it's really it's up to you. I mean, play around with the build, see what you can do with it. Um, uh, Enchantress, you don't have to have a unity on here. The Oryx works with everything, and I put uh, Butcher Sickle on here just because I, I use the Enchantress in Greater Rifts as well, and having her able to uh, pull stuff in for me and me get around them and kill them is just it's great it's great so um, I can show you just a little bit of the build just to to end it it, it is on T9 it is 10 T, T, T10 capable Let, let's show you just a, a smidgen of, of what it can do once we find a, a elite pack right off the bat cool. hopefully we won't die I want to kill them, pick up the death breath, walk around and spam it. And of course we go the wrong way. Just spam it, just spam it, just spam it. Just spam it, and you can keep spamming it until your cooldowns run off. And that's pretty much the build. So, uh, again, guys, subscribe if possible, share the content, like it, whatever you can do to help me out would be, would be great. But uh, tune in to keep in. I'm going to do more builds. I'm going to keep playing different characters. Um, if you want a certain build that you want me to put up myself, let me know in the comment section below, and I will definitely put that up for you. But again, thank you, guys. You have a wonderful day.